<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode nine. We'll call this nine, yeah? Is it nine? Nine. Yesterday was eight. Eight after nine, it comes after eight. All right, yeah. Episode nine. Uh, thank you guys so much. It is Christian's birthday officially today. Comment down below. You guys know the P.O. Box. Send all your gifts there. I haven't received anything yet. You guys are pretty selfish. Let me just say that. But whatever. We'll... We'll, we'll accept it. He's he's cried all day today. It's I'm been embarrassing. Humbled at the age of 29. He's pretty much an old man. Anyways, today we're talking about it's the beginning of the year still. It's Christian's birthday. I, I don't know if we touched on that, but Mostly it is his Christian's birth birthday. It is his birthday. And so obviously at the start of the new year is always the fresh gym goers, which shout out to you guys. Make sure you're going hard. I always that's when I started my journey was on New Year's. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. We were mid-summer, dude, working out at the same gym together. No, because remember, my mom told me I looked fat in my senior pictures? Yeah, but we and were working out before year. that. Like, yes, on and off, but, like, when I, like, seriously and, like, turned the gear and, like, dedicated oh, more to... Oh, you became the meathead ego yes, exactly. yeah, okay. that yeah, you yeah, are yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh -huh, that was yeah. that year. When I did that, January 1st, 2012 is when yeah. I became the worst ever. No, it was after 2012. No, that was my, it was senior it year. Been, yeah, no, you didn't start till after you graduated. Like, but I mean, I started, I began 2013, he began. 2012, he was contemplating why he was so fat. Thinking about his fatness that his mother said he was fat for. Because he was fat because of his fatness. So 2013, he began his journey of less being not fat. And let it, standing in a spray tan bikini yes. in front of random strangers to judge my body. Yes. Mm. But as people call it now, he's fat phobic. Oh yeah. Yeah, fat phobic. Yeah, so. it's very phobic of me to not want to be fat. Yeah. Disgusting, you know. really. Uh, I should I need to get treatment for that. I need to become better. I should just be fat. I have some cake in the fridge still. So I know. It was actually a really good cake. Shout out to Shannon, even okay. though Christian doesn't like chocolate cake. Do Alright, comment down below. Chocolate or vanilla cake or Marble or funfetti. That's not even like a real cake. Okay, it's fake. Who gets real? Who gets live studio audience? Who likes funfetti cake? Smart people, exactly. Oh man. I don't love it. I like it. We it's didn't ask mid. for talk. We just asked for hand raising. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hear background noise, it's because they're talking when they shouldn't be. There's literally a sign that says "quiet, please." We're, li we're yeah, we're trying to hire professional backstage. So that True. the live audience doesn't get too rambunctious. Yeah. They're doing really good right now. Oh, lots of love. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, for love. <laughs> oh, you guys can't do that. That's I a care, small man. little finger. <laughs> sure, sure. You do that to your mother? Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Anyways, back, back to on us. topic. Yeah. Uh, what, would, what do you think was the most toxic thing you did when you first like started working out? Curling um, in the squat rack, chest day every day. Yeah, I think because weight training for men mm -hmm. or for boys, whatever it was. Sophomore year. Yeah. Great time. Shout out to... Uh, legs. I never worked out legs and I never worked out back. I hated working out back because I'm like, yeah, there's no point in that. <laughs> What's your back do? <laughs> yeah, there was no point. So like it was stupid in my opinion. Legs never did. It was always... Chest, arms, and shoulders. Yeah. But even then, I didn't like working out my shoulders. It was I always love arms shoulders. and chest. Well, yeah. And then I learned things and yeah. became educated on how to properly do your splits. But no, it was always chest and buys. And then we were always trying to do max out Mondays. And Every stuff Monday. Like that, yeah. Every Monday was max out Monday. Yeah. Nothing Only on bench, bench, though. No deadlifts. We weren't even allowed to deadlift, I don't think, back in high school. No, we could deadlift. Just no one ever taught us that. Yeah. Well, we did trap bar deadlift. No, had, hack squats. What, no, whatever the, with the, and you held it at the handles. Yeah, that's more hack bar. squats. Whatever. Anyways, that's the deadlifts we were allowed yeah, to do. whatever. But yeah. Remember when you dropped the bar on my face because you got distracted and you didn't, were doing a terrible job spotting me? Uh, yeah. I was doing a bench and then next thing you know, it was just like, <laughs> on my face. <laughs> you were going so good and I'm like, I'm like looking away the next day and I'm like, oh my God, he's dying. <laughs> He started just getting distracted talking to who, I don't even know who was in the class I don't even at the know. time. But yeah, I just remember the thing just smacking me in the jaw. I'm just like. <laughs> it was rough. Dude, the Utica weight room, the OG one was sick. Yeah. That we, thing got like, it looked like a sweatshop. It smelled like It sweatshop. was disgusting. Yeah. There was ringworm everywhere in there. A hundred percent. Literally, you saw ringworm. Yeah, it was like, on, it was crawling. You could see <laughs> it. 
But yeah, and then they turned it into the pool room became the new. Oh really? Yeah, oh yeah, that sure. whole area. Yeah, they yeah. added it on. So. But yeah, that was. I think my favorite was like, I always would go grab the heaviest dumbbells I thought I could curl, and I would just put my whole body yeah, yeah, that was into always... getting it. Yeah, and I probably that's probably where my tendonitis began. To be honest. Who knows? Who knows where anything began? But it was funny because like the the teachers at the time like they didn't really explain proper lifting and how to do. A lot of the stuff. They, like, give you, like, the 30-second... Yeah, here's the 30-second tutorial. I want you to work out these things. Don't All snap right. your stuff up. Yeah, don't lift heavier than you can. You'll be fine. Honestly, like, the fact that they would let me quarter squat the way I did... Mm. I was always like, man, what a good squat session. My quads are killing me. No, it was because you don't... Squ I wasn't squatting right. Yeah, going back, if I could watch myself working out oh, with that'd the be knowledge awful. I have now... Man, so help me, I would probably just smack myself in the head. It's like back out. to episode one when we talked about, okay, if you could go back and in time find it yourself. Yeah, man. Honestly, if I could just walk up to my younger self that's working out, I would grab a dumbbell and just be like, pop. This is it. <laughs> I'm just gonna, 15 pounds straight to the Don't ever piece. work out until you're educated enough. Dude, so. okay, how about this? I've, I've always thought about this. What's the worst pet peeve to you when you see a dad teaching a son the wrong way to lift or... A boyfriend teaching their girlfriend the wrong way to lift. I don't like. I think I go oh. back and forth all the time, which is like pain, more painful to see. Honestly, I think the, the dad teaching the son is the worst thing because let's be honest, like a boyfriend girlfriend can end any time, but like that <laughs> relationship between a father son is it's gonna always... last. And then what are you gonna do when that kid becomes older and then he learns how to properly lift? And Be like, I like, hate my dad. Yeah, my dad sucks. <laughs> That's dude. There was this guy at Powerhouse on Hall Road and Heinrich. Mm -hmm. They were the powerlifter dudes. Did you ever yes, see that? Yes, yes, Brother, I know who you're talking brother about. Brother treated his chest cavity like it was a trampoline, dude. Just tried to... Yeah, he was just bouncing it He off. just I'm dropped like, oh. it right on there. And he was How like... How did you not shed And like, ribs? he would go full exorcist. Like, if this is his back flat, yeah. he would go like this. Like... And his butt wasn't even touching yeah, the Yeah, it was like bench. this. It was like one of these. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah, it was oh my gosh. fantastic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I just I, snapped I was, my spine. I always question that because I saw them on Sunday mornings. Oh, okay. That's when I would see them the most. Yeah. Because they were like the like the midday night mm -hmm. people that would mm -hmm. show up. But yeah, the, the few Sundays that I would work out, like I would see them. And it was like unreal. Yeah, I do think father's son. Because it's like, you're, you're like, son, I'm going to teach you the way. Right. It's, it's like, like, think about if you Mufasa. Think you're, well, you think your dad's like. This guy that yeah, knows, knows it, all. it. You so trust like, him when completely. You, like when you sit there and take advice, I mean, it's false. You're like, Dwayne, who do you think you are, and dude? You're like, you're killing me, dad. Yeah. You snap my... I have sciatica because of you. Remember when you kept telling me you couldn't throw the baseball because you had a torn rotator cuff? I know I, why yeah. now. It's because <laughs> of how you bench. It's not, it's not because you got were a massive athlete and threw out your shoulder. It's because you didn't know how to work out. Oh, my so. gosh. But, yeah. Speaking um, of, let's go back to Max Out Monday. Yeah. What was your go-to Max Out song? You're like, I need to crush this weight right now. I'm playing this song by this artist. Um, what was it? Either like now or back in the day. Well, you just said back in the day, so you can't contradict yourself. You want now and back in the day or back in the day then now? I'm done. I'm done. It's fine. I'm done. Do us a favor and get lost. So. Uh, okay, do a throwback first. Um, Come back. Anything bullet for my Valentine at the time was like the heavy stuff that I wanted to listen to. Okay. That was like go-to max out songs or trying to do big weight songs because get angry, violent, aggressive. Yeah. We, you, you bring that 10 level screamo. Yeah, at the time it was 10 level because I didn't know other music other than like Bullet, but now it's like I don't even listen to Bullet anymore because there's so much better out there. Yeah. Like every now and then I'll, I'll venture back to some of the Old school throwback. Classic but, bullet for my Valentine, yes. But like now, go to songs are like it's anything I prevail. Sometimes some asking Alexandria. Uh, Bear Tooth is up there every now and then. Riptide's so a solid it, song. It really all depends on how, like, I guess it depends on the lift mm -hmm. and if I'm really trying to max out. Like, I don't max out anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, I, if I'm working out religiously, then it's. You know, it's more maintenance and slowly building some strength. It's never like, all right, I need a bench 250 by this day. It's it's something else. So, but yeah. But what about you? What's your what's your go to max out song back then and now? So back then, like especially sophomore year, because I think Levine. 
No, 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 that's now. Um, I think Eminem's recovery album had dropped either sophomore or junior year. So anything from that album, I would yeah, I think always, it was like twenty ten. Yeah, it was, so, it was somewhere around there, but that was sick. So like, no love with him and Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. I was like, my heart was broken by my tenth grade crush. I must listen to this song. To I get listened angry. to Beautiful, but I don't remember if that was on the recovery album or not. But I think it was. I think it like yeah. led up to it. I don't know, or maybe it was like extra. But so that was always a go to back then, and then now. I like to listen to anything that makes me like lose my mind. So just anything that's super rage filled. Nice. Especially like when I'm deadlifting because I want to be an absolute animal without snapping my spine in half. So like anything that just brings mm -hmm. out the, the rage. What's some of the weirdest songs you listen to, whether it's before <clears throat> a stretch, like a random workout? Oh, it'll like... be like mid workout, listen to the Greatest Showman album. It's so good. Unreal. Top to bottom. From now on, when you, if you watch that, that movie and you soon know when that song comes into play, it's just a character change for Hugh Jackman going back to his roots, going back to We're getting some thumbs down responses over there. I don't, don't make that face at me. Have you even listened to it? Have you seen that movie? Yeah, I mean, every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, it's controversial. Don't care. It's the best. Yeah. Um, let's see. When I was in the powerlifting phase, mm -hmm. I always had a stretch playlist. Okay. And so some of the songs were like, Hard to Say I'm Sorry by Chicago. I would have a little bit of like Small Pools and Chain Smokers. I would have Jonathan, the acoustic version by Ice Nine Kills. It was more of like the, the slower songs for stretching. I don't know why. It just, it got me in a, in a clear mindset. Mm -hmm. And it sometimes got you in your feels depending on how it was, but... Yeah, those were some of like the weird slow songs that I would listen to. Mm -hmm. I mean, every now and then I'll get like 21 Pilots that throws up right into my workout playlist. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going to go with this, so I don't care. I'm going to be honest. I don't know any of those songs that you just said. That's fine. I don't expect you to. You're musically challenged. So. That dude. But hey, as long as it got the job done. Yeah. But yeah, The Greatest Showman, that's probably the weirdest thing I like to listen to when I work out. I still got some more probably. Let's see. Keep going. I have some like sad songs too that every now and then because like every every now you need that that emotional like yeah being sad like breakdown yeah. where like it's punching to the ground and you're like oh my god this sucks and then you're like this is why I lift. <laughs> Not really. Also, I thought of another one. I'll make a man out of you from the Mulan playlist. Oh Absolute fire. Absolute. That last breakdown. I feel like I can run through a brick wall. That whole lead up into the breakdown, phenomenal. You can't. I wouldn't even it. consider it a breakdown in there. Cause when it, dude, when any any time, it's scientifically proven. If you look, at, your strength increases by eighty seven point six percent when a song drops the beat and it's just vocals through the chorus, just like it does at the end of that song. False, because you're not any stronger than you were back then. Yeah, a hundred percent. Hundred percent. What are All some right. of the weirdest things you've seen at the gym? Okay. Uh, Honestly, we need to talk about locker room etiquette. The, yes. That is where the weirdest stuff happens. Every old man <laughs> is just confidently standing there. He's like, hey, man, you want me to tell you about the time I hit 600 on deads? And I'm like, no, man, I want you to put on a towel and put your yeah, leg down. The, I don't get it. Like At Planet Fitness, terrible. Oh. Because you'll see the old men just walk around buck ass naked. Free balling, dude. Everything out there exposed. Hanging. Walking around in their chonclos, towel over the shoulder, and that's it. That's Literally, the worst. Because you're like, dude, the towel's right there. Just throw it around. I know, the like, waist. no one wants to see some shriveled up raisins, my guy. <laughs> you like, just stop it. Jim, it's 5 30 in the morning. You just ruined my entire or day. They'll get out of the shower. They'll dry off. They'll, mind you, you're in your locker. So. You're sitting down, they come up to you, drying off, put the towel on the bench, and then sit down next to you Ugh. while they're naked, and then slowly put a sock on at a time where their feet and legs are still wet. Then they go to their underwear. Why? You know what's weird to me? When dudes are butt naked, and then they no, put their the shirt, shirt on, then deodorize. It's like, dude, you were right there. Just throw on the deodorant right yeah. now. I was never a, a shower at the gym type of thing. I couldn't. I couldn't. I, well, I, actually, think I, I think I did it once or twice just because I knew I had to, but... Stack had good ones, though, because they were actually individualized. Oh, the curtains. individual yeah, stalls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Group showers, weird. Like, why? Who, who like was, in like, the locker know, room in high school? Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is a fun idea. Why? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Jamal, <laughs> look at that pimple on your ass. <laughs> no, but, yeah, that, that's some weird stuff, but... 
Let's talk about the, the workouts that are weird or the people that act weird. Like going back out into that, that guy that would have like the full rainbow arch on his back and then mm -hmm. use his chest as a trampoline. I've seen people doing pull-ups on the lat pull-down machine. Like they'll put the weight at like 260 pounds, what? grab the lat pull down, and then try to do pull-ups. I've never seen that. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, dude. You know what's the what worst though? The worst is when. Here, let me let me show you guys with diagrams. I here. could get thirsty. It's fine. You're fine. So this guy's doing his workout here, but then he has to come grab grab the dumbbells that are here. Then he's over here doing a completely different thing. And this is his tri set. Mm. And then you're like, hey man, do you, can I work? And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm using all this. I'm using all this. And then he has like a five, a 30, a 65. And he's like, no, nah, man, I need all this right now. I'm like, you don't. But you, yeah. You don't. I, Why are you doing that? You're just in everyone's like, way. Like if you're going to do a circuit, you there's, little, there's specific areas in the gym for circuit training. Like you go into the stretching zones or you go into like the areas that offer more space. Yeah. And you can literally grab, you know, a dumbbell, you know, a, you know, a cable thing and, and like say a medicine ball. And you can do your three things right Just there. make it efficient. Yeah. Like, I don't care if you do a circuit. Just do it efficiently. Don't be in right. everyone's way. Like right. we get it. And then they're like this. They're like, yeah, hang on, bro. No, I'm using that. One second. I'll be right back. All right, man. Yeah. yeah. Almost. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll um, be right there. It's like they want. It's like that Kevin Hart joke where they want the attention. I'm doing a. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if you know this. They're right. doing a circuit right now. Like it's a different story if you're at a cable machine with a set of dumbbells. Because now I'll say you're doing okay. I'm going to do my tricep extensions. Then I'm going to do some bicep curls. And then at the cable machine, you got your pull up, you know, handles right there too. Yeah. So you can easily start doing pull ups, and it's you, everything's so close to you that you're not making it inconvenient for Billy, who's on the treadmills right now. Because you need to go do a 30 second sprint and then come all the way back over yeah, and start like, doing some curls. Like, come on, man. Figure yeah, it out. Figure it No shot that you're doing that right yeah, now. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but. Dude, you know what else is funny that still happens that I noticed? It happened when I went to one of the edges the other day. I will walk in there. Yeah. Doesn't matter what time of day. It still smells like Abercrombie or junior high hallways back in the day. Yeah, it's Literally. like Axe body spray. Bro, everywhere. that's what I'm saying, bro. It's like, you remember those kids between classes? They would do like. Three seconds each side. They're like, yeah. all right, now I can go to geometry. That's what these grown men are still doing, going to the gym. Don't do it. Why? X body spray, bod, all that. That was back in early 2000s. Yes. Before 2010. Not now. Dude, like when you used to walk into like Aeropostal and Abercrombie and it just or was hosta or Hollister. Hollister it was just a wave. It was just a wave. Like you could, that's all you were breathing. It I wasn't heard even air. that they used to like spray like their colognes and stuff in the vents. Yeah, that makes that's sense. What they, or they would have like pieces of paper that were like makes sprayed sense. with it. So like it would go out of like the, the yeah, ventilation. That's all you could smell. Back and then. I was like, no, can't do it. But what were I play hockey with a guy that still uses Axe body spray? Really? It's, yeah. I'm I like, didn't. That's I, a little odd, but I'm like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. I didn't think that was still like. I thought it was like illegal in seven countries. Like, uh, oh snap, Red Wings scored, sick. Like, uh, what was that cologne from Anchorman? Sex Panther. Sex Panther. That's what it works. Was. 80% of the time, or it works like 60% of the time, <laughs> every all the time. time. Yeah, something. What was the biggest, uh, embarrassing, like your most embarrassing gym moment in, uh, yeah. What was your most embarrassing gym moment? Private or like in front of everybody? I'll um, go, I can go, do you need time? No, I, I mean, I have go. like, all right, you go first. Okay. No, I'll let you go. So I have two. The first one, thankfully not a lot of people were there. It was like when, it was when I started my senior year, I thought, I had like chugged a pot of coffee because mm -hmm. it was like 5 a.m. And then I had pre-workout, no food in my stomach. And I'm like going to deadlift at like 5.30 in the morning. Mind you, I didn't know how to deadlift still. Mm, so fantastic. it was bad. And I like had gone with Mike before one time. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm so strong. Like I deadlift was like 225 for one with him or something. So I'm like, I'm a beast. Yeah. So I load up 185. I was warming up, thankfully. But I went to go deadlift. Second rep, I farted so hard, convinced I had pooped my pants. I like, I put it down, acting like, yeah, that was my plan, finish to my set. Anyways, I'm gonna go casually walk to the bathroom now, and I go there and I drop trial because I was wearing sweatpants, and I'm like, I, there's poop in here. There has to be poop no in poop. here. There was no poop, so shout out to that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no poop, but I literally, I was convinced I had pooped my pants. That's one. 
And then the second one, it wasn't really me, but it was like association. I was working out with somebody yeah. and I had to go to the bathroom and I'm like, hey, like offload the weight so you can do your way and I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I walk away and all of a sudden I hear <laughs> like the loudest sound ever. And I was like, oh my gosh, no they, way. They unloaded one side. side yeah, it was real. like, I had like 350 and they only took off one side and like the bar had fallen. It crushed my pen, my headphones and I didn't care. I was like, are you okay? And then I was like, oh man, what a mess. There needs to be like some more effective way to where you can unload a rack at like kind of opposite times, like so you can pull off a whole side. Well, not just that, or like a more convenient way where you can unrack them both at the same time. Yeah, in, in a way, like I don't know. I mean, that's what twenty fifty. It, it, it does get annoying, like racking one side, going racking the other side, unracking this side, unracking that side. Elon so, Musk, help us out. Yeah, thanks. But man. let's see. Most embarrassing for me. I think like how I would dress at times, like when I would really? when you when you make your own homemade cutoff, <laughs> oh, and then yeah. you go to the gym and that, and like you're hanging on by like a bikini strap at that the bottom, sick. and it's like elite. What's the point of this? Elite, dude. I remember my headphones in, blasting, you know, high school douchebag, you know, at the gym, and I'm wearing the cutoff, and it got caught on a bench, like just a barbell on one of the benches. I didn't know, and it just ripped it off. Not my shirt, but I just ripped the bar off and it just made a loud noise. I'm just like, <laughs> like in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid right now. But like, I'm playing it off like, oh, totally oops. meant to do that. That's cool. Just go pick it up, put it back on, walk away. I'm like, unbelievable. So, I mean, I think that's like one of my most embarrassing that's moments at the one. gym. Almost dying by yourself on bench is always embarrassing. Like not you specifically. Like, oh yeah. I yeah, remember one, one time you like. We were supposed to work out. You didn't come. And then I was like doing incline. Mm -hmm. And then I like went to go rack it. I hit it on the rack. It came down yeah, on me. And I was pinned under like 95 pounds on the incline. And I'm like, this is it. This is how it ends for me. I always knew it would be embarrassing in the gym. The scariest thing that ever, in my opinion, the scariest thing to happen at a gym, no matter who it is, if you're squatting by yourself and you get to that depth and you can't get up, you know, most people will... <laughs> feel like they got to lean if you forward, forward, that's terrifying. But honestly, like when you have to let it go behind you, I'm terrified of that because I don't know if it might clip on the belt, if it just might snap my lower back in half, tear my butt crack even open even more. I don't know. That's terrifying because you don't know what's going on. You're supposed to like drop and move and like kind of lunge forward a little bit, but... I got pinned. in there. That's that's kind of scary. I don't like that. I think I got pinned under like 385 one time, and I like went to dump, but it hit me like here, here, and here, and my back after looked like I got mauled by a bear. I watched a guy bench. He couldn't get it back on the rack, so he set it on his chest, let go for a minute, and then rolled it down his legs. I and did that off. one time. I'm like, oh, okay. I did that one time, and I, afterwards I felt like a Ken doll. Like, it just ruined me. Like, yeah, I was like, I never again. Couldn't let it be. I don't know. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I, I don't think I would ever let the weight mm. roll off me. Yeah, no, that's a, that was a bad idea. Oh, one embarrassing thing. I was playing, like, we were doing, like, a medicine ball toss. <laughs> like, back and forth. Yeah. And I tossed it to the guy across me. I said, hold on, just a second, because I needed, like, just to catch my breath. I looked over to the side. I turned. Pop. <laughs> He tossed a 20 pound <laughs> medicine ball and just no. clocked me right in the face. It was in high school too. I remember uh, just going to the nurses or not even the nurses. I just went to the office and said, Hey, um, I got to go home. And they're like, why? And they're like, my I'm mom wouldn't call me out. So I just called the school on my cell phone. I'm just like, Hey, this is uh, Eric Harrison. My son's <laughs> going to be leaving. He's not feeling well. And I just left. Like it was bad. Yeah, I, like, I just felt like the whole side of my face throbbing. I could tell it was red. And I think I just got back from like like recovering from a concussion at the time too. Oh, really? So like it was it was bad. But anyway, we're at 25 minutes. So I know. We, we got to cut this, guys. So Comment down below. Tell us your most embarrassing gym story. What's your New Year's resolution? No. What's your no, weirdest? No one wants to know about the New Year's resolution. Okay, what's That's your weirdest? What's some funny gym stories? What's some weird things that you find? Some of the weirdest songs you, you listen to, your biggest like pump up songs or go to songs. Maybe we'll create a playlist off what you say. The so, No Shot podcast playlist. Workout playlist. Yeah. Yeah. There we so, go. 
Let's get it going. Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take happy care. Adios, my birthday presents. Comment down below. Yes. Happy birthday, Christian. Yes. Send it to the PO Box. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Oh, my gosh.